Hey everybody, Tim here with tonight's episode of Star Trek The Next Generation, Season 7, Episode 12, The Pegasus. Great episode. Um, first off, it's directed by LeVar Burton, a.k.a. Jordi LaForge. So, th kudos to him, because, I mean, he picked a perfect episode to direct. Now, right off the bat, I've kind of complained about it in other episodes, and some of you guys have disagreed with me. Like, it seems like The Next Generation has a lot of episodes where it's just, like, these crazy admirals that are like, everything you do is wrong and I'm taking command of the Enterprise. And this, unfortunately, does fall under that category. But this one's done really well, and it's really interesting. So, first off, to start with the teaser, the, the scene before the opening credits, it starts with Picard Day, which I think is a great scene, especially if you go back to the, the first episode, the pilot episode, where Picard pretty much brings uh, Riker aside and says, hey, I need your help, I hate kids, and I don't know how to deal with them. And now, here we are, seven years later, and like he has a whole day named after him, and he still hates it, but it's, it's kind of funny. I had to look it up online. Evidently, Picard Day is June 16th. So, like, what is that, two months from now, a month and a half from now? Probably a special Picard Day video for me. So, from here, we have... Uh, an, an admiral joins the Enterprise. Uh, it's, oh, Terry Quinn? I forgot what it, to write down his name. It's the guy that played Locke in the show Lost, and it's great to see him, like, super young. And it turns out that 12 years ago, he was the captain of the Pegasus, and at, during this time, Riker was his ensign. And so, which, that's kind of interesting, but I'll get back to that in a minute. And then it... Throughout the episode, you can tell things aren't quite right, but you don't know how, to what degree. And it turns out that the Pegasus, some of the crew had abandoned ship, and the rest, and the Pegasus itself exploded, or at least it appeared to be. So, but it turns out that the Romulans have found it, or at least they think they found it. So the Enterprise goes to try to see where it's at. Now, to kind of go back to, so the Pegasus went missing like 12 years ago. If you kind of do the math, Riker says towards the end of the episode that he's he was like seven months out of the Academy or whatever. So that means, like, he was already a commander before he got on the Enterprise because he was the commander of the Hood. So that means in six years, he went from an ensign to a commander. And then for the last six years, he's been a, just a commander. So I don't know what, like, Starfleet, how fast you can move up. I guess it depends on the person. But to go from an ensign to a commander in six years or less than that seems pretty quick to me. So anyways, so the Enterprise gets to this, like, asteroid field. And there's a Romulan warbird, which it's a little bit interesting. And I don't know if it's super noteworthy, but this is the first darker-skinned Romulan we've ever seen. So I thought that was kind of cool. And so... Riker, or I'm sorry, Picard and this Romulan are basically just playing the stalemate. And Picard's like, why are you here? And the Romulans are like, we're just doing some, like, some testing, some scientific exploration. And Picard's like, hey, so are we. Weird. And they're just kind of going back and forth. Well, they do find the Pegasus in an asteroid. And the Admiral makes, the, makes Picard take the Enterprise into the asteroid. And here's where we start finding out what's going on. And it turns out that the Pegasus had an experiment, like as an experimental piece of machinery that allows it to cloak and phase, which is kind of a shout out to the next phase episode where uh, Ensign Rowe, Laren, and Jordy basically got cloaked and phased. If you guys remember that, it's like season five. So, and... They, they bring up how, because during all of this, we're in season seven, and we've never mentioned why the Klingons can cloak and the Romulans can cloak, but the Enterprise can't. So they talk about how 60 years ago, the Federation and the Romulans signed a treaty that the Federation will not develop cloaking technology, which I should I didn't write it down. I'm pretty sure there was an, an original series episode where the Enterprise cloaked, but I don't remember. I should have wrote that down. Because I think I brought that up in my video. <clears throat> but anyways, um, so it's interesting because we're finally learning more about this this treaty and how 60 years ago it had happened. And evidently on the Pegasus there was a mutiny. And hey, there's my dog Little Belly. And there was a mutiny and Ensign Riker grabbed a phaser, defended his captain, and helped him escape. While the rest of the crew tried to take it apart. And it basically went wrong, and it phased into this asteroid and rematerialized in the rock. 
So the Admiral and Riker basically grab the machinery and they they beam back aboard the Enterprise. During all of this, the Romulans have sealed the Enterprise into the the asteroid. And so now Riker finally comes forward and explains what's going on. And of course, this crazy Admiral's like, you're going to go get court martial and you're going to go to jail and you've ended your Starfleet career. And Picard's like, take the Admiral of the Brig, install this, get us out of here, which he does. And he's like, okay, now we have to contact the Romulan government to say, hey, we fucked up. And it's, it's really interesting to watch Picard, like, come forward and basically have to clean up this Admiral's mess. And it brings up all sorts of different questions. Um, now, that's, that's basically the nutshell of this episode. It's a great episode. It's great acting from the Admiral to Riker to Picard. Everybody is great. Unfortunately, this epo episode got kind of a sequel for... It's going to be a spoiler, so... In Enterprise, the series finale takes place during this episode where you see Riker and Troy in a holodeck and this the whole episode is about Riker being like, should I tell Picard or should I not? And it's, it's just pretty awful. But I mean, it's interesting to see Riker and Troy in their outfits and it's supposed, it's like, I mean, that episode was made like over 10 years later and it's supposed to take place during this episode. It's just a weird choice, but it's noteworthy to bring it up. So for those who have seen this one, what did you guys think about the Federation Cloaking Technology Treaty? What did you guys think about the Admiral? And I'm pretty sure it's Terry Quinn. What did you guys think about that? And yet again, another crazy Admiral story. Go ahead, let me know about what you guys think about this episode. I feel like this is a fairly well-received episode. So like I said, it's, it's a great episode. So go ahead, let me know in the comments below. Thank you guys for everything. You're all amazing. And I will see you guys next time for Homeworld.